Yo, what's up guys? You got Game here. Today we're going to be hitting up the UU tier once again. And last time I played UU, I used Rain, and today we're using Rain again. With Specs Keldeo once again, which was an absolute menace in the tier. But, more importantly, we're using Double Huge Power Bunny. Shout out to RTSK for the team. If you guys want to check out my website, PokeMD.com. All the teams I use are always there. You can flip through. You can actually see my videos as well and my stream and everything from there. So, if you guys want to check it out, feel free to. Or feel free to bookmark it as well. I'm excited because we have Belly Drum Azu in the rain, which is already going to hit hard as hell. Rain is going to be nice because it gives you that extra oomph to pick up things at plus six, which normally you couldn't. Like, for instance, you do about, I would say, 50% to Keldew at plus six with Aqua Jet, but with rain, you're doing like, you know, upwards of 70, 80%. Uh, it's just insane. I'll show you the actual damage. I think I think it's closer to 70 than, uh, than 80, but I want to show you the damage before we actually go through. And then we have Choice Scarf Diggers B. Um, for some speed control, which would be nice considering we're powering up Starmie as well, which is a giant threat versus us. Um, Spadef kind of Jirachi, but mainly Healing Wish and Stealth Rock. We have Rapid Spin Tentacruel as our check to Keldeo, which is still going to massacre us. And we've obviously Defog uh, Pelipper as well. This could actually be Hurricane. We'll see, depending on how how tough things are. But I just want to see how much Azu does at plus six in the rain to Keldeo. Let's see. Keldeo. So this is standard Keldeo. Oh, oh, I'm actually doing upwards of 80 to, to, I was remembering the actual Kelp. Yeah, 80 to 94. Like, look at that. That's insane. That's insane. Just in rain. So, let me make sure rain is not there. Let's look for a game. If y'all enjoy it, feel free to leave a like, subscribe. It took a little while in the intro, but I wanted to make sure everything was seen. And it looks like Belly Drum Azu is amazing here. It also looks like my opponent happens to have a Belly Drum Azu as well. So what I want to do is just lead off with my Jirachi. And uh, I want to U-turn on the Azelf. I expect them to kind of taunt me. Potentially, they could just opt for rocks too. Uh, Jirachi's role in this game is to kind of just smack Mammal Swine. I don't mind getting Life Orb Fire Blasted, which that definitely was. Uh, <laughs> as I can bring out my uh, Diggersby now and proceed to, I think, click Body Slam. I don't see any switch-ins really, but they do have that. They do have that Mammal Swine, so I guess you should be a little bit careful. Let me U-turn instead. Just in case. Body Slam might be a little bit better in the long run. I'm surprised they're life orb, but that's fine. Um, if I get up rocks here, that's going to help chip down Keldeo and help out my Azu. Azu's already looking good in general. I just got to be careful not to lose the Salamence. Assuming it's Dragon Dance on this type of team, because it just looks like straight up set up with every single one of your mons besides Mammal Swine and Win type of builds. My Tentacro, how fast are you, my friend? Okay, great. Speed tier for Mammal Swine. Awesome. Uh, that's, that's amazing. Um... My Caldeo is also really good, obviously, as well. Uh, as they go Azu right there. Perfect, because now we can bring out my Tentacruel and just click Sludge Bomb. It's relatively free, considering it should knock out uh, as It should knock out Azelf. Now, this could be Bandit, I guess, but again, I just want damage on this thing. It looks Assault Vest, actually. So, get a little bit lucky there by getting a nice little crit. Um, they're smart to knock me off as well. I'll Sludge Bomb again, even if they go out into uh, Mammal Swan, I don't care. I'd rather KO Azu, which is awesome for Keldeo as well. Obviously, their Azelf can come out and do some damage versus me, but I still do have Diggersby as well with the Body Slam, which is going to be, I think, very key in knocking out Pokemon in this game. Um, unfortunately, with the inclusion of Heavy Duty Boots, I don't actually knock out uh, Mence and Thunder. I don't know how much I do, uh, because I can't get Stealth Rock damage on them. How much I actually do, though? Let me see. Thunderous. Oh, you nasty plot. Man, that does nothing, bro. Give me a return back. Let me see how much return would have done. That's what I'm talking about. 87 to 105. 73 to 86, man. So, uh, I guess technically Mammal Swine could come out if it wants to, if they want to try and save this Azu, which, I mean, I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind damage on Mammal Swine. It's not that it's the biggest threat versus my team. Uh, what Pokemon can I even belly drum up on? Maybe Keldeo if I get a little hit off on it. Actually, it'd be best for me if they went Keldeo right now. Because then I could just belly... Like, I would love to get a hit off on Keldeo, and then I would love to get a hit off on Salamence. To be honest, I'm just very greedy. I want to hit everything. To be honest, that came out wrong. I'm a very happily married man. But, you know, sometimes, man, I mean, look at that Azu. <laughs> the Lola Bunny. I'm done. I'm done. My dog got off me. She had enough of this crap. They're like, bro, what's wrong with you? Uh, we're also almost the 1500s. They're 1546, which is where in the UU ladder... Bro, y'all taking mad low. I shouldn't have to, like, talk this much. 
in between turns. I'll pause it, guys. We'll be right back. All right, so they came back, and it looks like they went out into Keldeo here. We're going to sludge bomb once again as they go for Calm Mind. I've got a feeling they were Calm Mind considering we saw uh, leftovers, but... Um, a few options I have... I think this is my best option, just going out to you and clicking Secret Sword as the sub. Yeah, because one, if I win a speed tie, I'll 2 kill them. And it's the same thing. We can only 2 kill each other. We can't kill each other. Well, I can kill them, but they're behind a sub, obviously. Uh, but I'm saving that just for the Mammal Swine as well as Azu, obviously. Uh, because my Keldo is not Scarf. If it was Scarf, I would actually have just tried to break their sub with something else and gone from there. However, they might think I'm Scarf, so they may end up switching. And I get to play off me being Scarf, because that does do roughly 52. I assume they grass not here. They actually end up nasty plotting. Uh, I didn't think they would Thunderbolt, which is why I stayed in. And uh, trying to think if it is worth keeping Tenderco. It is. Uh, Jirachi is just useless, so I'll sack you. That did nothing, bro. I'll just randomly click Stealth Rock if I can. I mean, why not? So you won the tie? Uh, yeah, that happens in Pokemon. <laughs> what what do you want from me, friend? <laughs> That's just as mods, dude. What can I do? I don't know what you want from me. Uh, so we got rid of Thunderous there. Obviously, this gets rid of Azelf. Azu doesn't actually end up killing me, and Tentacro is relatively freeze too because I won't die even if they click anything besides Aqua Jet. And we're just gonna Sludge Bomb here and get rid of you. Azelf comes out. I'm just going to because you can live Ice Shard. Actually, I made the wrong play. I should have just went out into Azu there. I, I mean, I can go Azu there anyway, right? Right? I can literally go Azu now. I was just thinking about Salamence, but this is better. This is better. Especially because now all I got to do is U-turn here on Mammal Swine. Uh, because they're more than likely Life Orb. Yep. If I U-turn there... Aqua Jet should kill... Aqua Jet should kill. For sure. It's rain boosted. It's rain boosted, so it definitely kills. And uh, and then Salamence comes out, and I don't give it a chance to set up. And even if I miss once, they can't knock me out at plus one because I have the Citrus Berry. That's, I mean, like I said, yeah, they couldn't, they wouldn't be able to knock me out at plus one. So if I missed twice, that was it. But uh, yeah. Good game. I mean, what, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> like, it's a, a speed tie. What am I supposed to do? Right? What am I actually supposed to do? So, uh, anyway, we're gonna pause it until we find a game. I'll bear back. Alright, so we are fighting some sticky web. And uh, honestly, I'm very scared of Celestilla. I'm, I'm very, very scared of Celestilla. Um, luckily, Tentacruel is really good at rapid spinning here. Unfortunately, uh, that I thought they would lead out Rubabombi and click up webs because it looked like a uh, webs type of team. But we do have Pelipper, and Pelipper gets a brain, so I lose to Inteleon. Belly Drum, Belly Drum Ozzy just straight up wins. So I'm very grateful for that. Oh, especially if they go this first. Especially if they go this first. So what I'm going to do here is actually I'm going to knock off Tentacruel. Uh, because I'm going to Belly Drum up and attempt to win. I'm basically going to try and Belly Drum up and attempt to win. So that damage is all I need for plus 6 Aqua Jet to knock out Tentacruel. And I get a burn as well, which is awesome. Uh, I don't think my Pelipper is very useful. Even though obviously Rain is important. Actually, yeah, it's okay if they knock me. Because this is the only mod I need, basically, plus 6 for. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to Iron Head with Jirachi. And I'll click Stealth Rock now, just to make sure that we, uh, just to make sure that we can um, break Rabambi's Focus Dash. Because at that point, I believe we just win with Belly Dramazu. Like, legitimately. They end up being Choice Scarf, which means I win. That should be game. Because they're faster than me. That should be game, in theory, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm going for Belly Drum now. I believe that's game. I think everything dies. That should be Offensive Celestilla, and I see Leftovers, and I click Knock Off, and it kills. Also, I don't think Celestilla kills me with Meteor Beam. Oh, it's leftovers too, so... Sorry, my friend. I mean, that's it. Like I said, I went for... Uh, they... That was a... Uh, I understand their rocks play because they want to catch Pelipper upon switching, but like... I have 1,744 attack. 
Yo, it actually lived. But, I don't think they can switch around on this thing enough. Also... Also, Celestilla wins too. I mean, everything wins on this thing. Every Everything dies. Let me just click Aqua Jet, so that way everything just straight up dies. Maybe Inteleon lives at plus six? It has to, right? Inteleon has to live at plus six. Ah, uh, it did. I mean, it just barely did, but it did. I think it's best just to go you and click Surf. Maybe I'm messing around with Moltres too much. Moltres can sweep me. I didn't want them to be Scarf, which is why I didn't go out into Digger's B. Otherwise, I would have. But we'll see. We'll see. Because Moltres is obviously a threat and a half. If they agility up. Alright, they go to Bombi first, which means I can go out to Tentacruel. And just Rapid Spin until I die. And then go out into Digger's B and click Body Slam. What if they're Quiver Dance? I mean, they shouldn't be able to break Jirachi in theory. And Jirachi can still Iron Head. So yes, so we Rapid Spin here. That does open up Moltres, though. So it depends how they stay, what they do in this situation. But... Uh, maybe I should have tried to go for rain. Um, I'm gonna bring out Diggers B. I don't think they stun spore again. Yeah, I think they stick it exactly. So I can click that body slam. I get rid of her Bombi here. I just want to be able to hit Moltres. Pelipper has no item. So I U-turn with Pelipper. You also have no item. So that's that's good too. And I think I go hard into you. I'm just trying to think what's the best case scenario, right? I'm literally just trying to make the best case scenario to make sure the mulch isn't set up. I would have clicked Hydro Pump there, but... I think Diggersby gives me the best odds of winning. Personally. I have multiple para chance, and also this does a lot. And I didn't want to rain up either, so we'll see if I die. Yep, I had a feeling I didn't die. Exactly. Uh, I, I think this gave me the best odds of winning. Good game. Let's go. Oh, I was fighting for my life at that point. Hey, the double bunny doing it, though. You see Azu go early and then Diggersby finish up after. That's the double bunny gang right there. I was going to say, <laughs> I was going to add another word after gang, but. <laughs> What's wrong with me today, man? I'm just so, I'm sleep deprived, bro. It's crazy, man. It's my sister's wedding this week. I got, I got, a, I'm moving, but I have to move by the end of the month. Like, I know I've been in the process for a month and a half, but like, we have to move by the end of the month. I got an email today saying uh, my shaker for G Fuel, uh, I approved the design. That I mean, I had already made a design, but then they had to go through with stuff, and I approved what they made. So, you know, that's in the works, and that's on my mind. I have no idea when that's coming out. Hopefully, the ideal situation for me is before the Pokemon games come out, personally, but I could be wrong. could be wrong. I don't know, there's a lot of cool stuff. Alright, let's see. Offense. Sticky web offense. Oh boy. Okay. I like Tentacle early. Now they... I, this is just like... Just in case they let off a Rabombi. But I basically rabbit spin here. As they go AG. Now AG could easily have weakness policy. Uh, it probably does. It didn't though. So that's great. I have an option of going out into Diggersby on this thing and messing it up. But Diggersby is really good in this game in general. I think the most useless member is my Jirachi here. So I'm going to just sack Jirachi. Yep. I'm going to sack Jirachi there. Do I want to go for a spike with Diggersby or what do I want to do? So that's the damage I need for Aqua Jet at plus 6. I almost want a U-turn. Oh, my earthquake. 
Uh, breaking the sash is the same thing as like they have. Th yeah. Oh, this mod's gonna be annoying, bro. <laughs> this mod's gonna be annoying. <laughs> this game's gonna be annoying, but as long as webs aren't up, I feel okay. Goodbye, my child. Oh, luckily they're shy shot. Let's go. Sick. So I can bring out you and click U-turn and pick up the KO. On Azelf. Or I just go Keldeo and click Surf. Literally kills everything. They should go Rabombi. I think they go Rabombi. We have that in range of plus six aqua jet. That was always in range of plus six aqua jet. Oz is like the only thing. Oh, they go Necrozma. Necrozma. Good be. <laughs> hey, I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Alright, so we're going to break this thing sash, obviously. Oof. We'll bring out Tentacorn now because rain is going to be up and they have to decide if they're going to let me spin or not. Yep. And this is good because I get to hit... I get to hit Aegis Slash in the rain, which means I 2 hit KO it as well. Which is awesome. Yeah, so we 2 hit KO Aegis Slash, which means next time I can spin. I don't know if you're life or not, but I have to go for Rapid Spin here. Okay, so I go for Rapid Spin there. I guess if they're dual dance, I lose, but I have to bank off them not being dual dance, right? I think I sacked Pelipper here. They're not dual dance. Yep. Awesome. So now we surf and get a kill. And I surf again there, Azu. And then I think I body slam win. Because surf gets a kill on everything. Again, it 2 a kills Azu as well. Oh, this is going to be so close, man. Tentacle MVPing it up, though. Tentacle definitely MVP. Wait, they gave me Azelf. Wait, why? Why? I don't get why you gave me Azelf, dude. I have clear body, right? Oh, I'm rainish, which makes sense too. Wait, they did the wrong thing. Okay, so I rabbit's been here first. I don't think Tentacle dies at plus six. I refuse to believe you die. You don't die. And there you go. There you go. Like I said, I refuse to believe it died. And all I gotta do is attack Thunderous so that way I win the game with my bunnies. Which again, did not die. So I could have spun before even if they attacked me. Nice. I don't know why I didn't go for Scald. It's rain boosted. And now we can win with this bunny. Let's go. Double bunnies are powerful. Good game. The double bunnies are climbing. Where are we on the ladder? Refresh. We just popped the 1500, so let's see. We are... Uh, we're higher than that. For sure. We're almost top 100. Nice. Oh, we are top 100, whatever. I'll look at it in a sec. I'll pause it, guys. Bear right back with another game. So I think we're fighting the team that I used in OU almost. <laughs> it looked like a team I'd use in OU. Uh, bunch of threats over here. Keldeo is insane, though. Keldeo is absolutely insane. And I like Rocks Up. I want Rocks Up as early as possible. Um, I want to pressure Barrascuta, Kingdra, which, you know, Mons that basically 6 0 me. So I'm going to go for Rocks here. I'm assuming you bring out maybe, I mean, you could bring out Barrascuta, it's hella free. Uh, but Rocks up for Mammal Swine. Best case is they go something like Mammal Swine there, as they obviously go Kingdra, which makes even more sense. Um, because with Rocks up, my Keldeo does a lot of damage to them, and oh, me living that is fantastic too. Uh, we can bring out you and just click Sludge Bomb. I don't think you get 2 AKO by Hydro Pump, not with Rain Dish. And that damage on Kingdra, again, goes a long way towards plus 6 Aqua Jet. I think plus 6 Aqua Jet does like 40% to Kingdra because it's 4 times resist. So I want to make sure in the rain how much it does. Kingdra. No, that's not in the rain. In the rain, it does 42 to 50. Okay, so I would like a hit off on it, if possible. Also, Digger's B is obviously incredible in this, too. Uh, Jirachi, 
automatically has become a sack for something. All it has to do is click rocks there. I'm not worried about Frostmoth because of its, I mean, its coverage is great versus me, don't get me wrong, but it's slower than Diggersby and I can body slam it into Aqua Jet. Uh, Tentacruel also walls it. I mean, Tentacruel walls a lot of their team, right? But uh, ideally they go Mammal Swine and I get the poison on Mammal Swine and then I can just knock them out with Rain Boosted Scald, which may just knock them out anyway. All right, they end up bringing out the Frostmoth as I get the poison on it. Dude, do you even beat me 1v1? I mean, why would I not go Diggers be here and just click Body Slam? I'm faster than plus one. They can't touch me. Um, the poison is nice, obviously, though, because this is one of their few... They, I mean, they have they have three fighting resist on their team, but Pelipper with Rocks Up doesn't appreciate it, and Thunderous definitely doesn't appreciate it, period. So, uh, again, unfortunately, Frostmoth does not have the best speed, so you will die there. Perfect. And they have nothing that like I'm scared of setting up on me. If they go Thunderous, I'll hit them. Um, Bear Skeeta definitely dies to bless this Aqua Jet as well. We can sack our Jirachi here to the Surf. And we'll bring out Tentacruel and uh, once again go for a Sludge Bomb. Again, I'm going begging out the fact that Sludge Bomb into Scald knocks out Mammal Slime. And uh, I just need a little bit more. Yeah, Sludge Bomb into Rain Boost to Scald should definitely knock out Mammal Slime. That did 10%. Ooh, is that a salt vest? Because that only did 10. That has to be a salt vest, right? Is that Chinese mammal swine? Yep, it's looking it's looking like Chinese mammal swine. Okay, we're gonna go Pelipper. I'm pretty sure it looked like Chinese mammal swine. Shout out to Envy. I get a slow U-turn here into Caldeo. Yep. Now, I'm fairly confident Specs Keldeo Hydro Pump knocks out Pelipper, but I'm just trying to think, is that my best play? Because if I, like, I'll calculate just for you guys to see, but I'm fairly confident I KO. Yep. Uh, Surf does 67 to 79. Hold up. Is that 72%? Hold up. Let me, let me, so I don't have to do the percentage in my chance in my KO. This is a 62% chance to Oko. Um, at 72%, which means that Hydro Pump is 80% chance to Oko, and it's the better play. I'm going for it. So, Hydro Pump is my play here. It will definitely KO Pelipper, unless they're random Scarf Pelipper. Yep. Alright, so we get rid of Pelipper. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And the, 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 it's basically being set up for Azu at this point, right? It is being set up for Azu at this point. Because depending on what they bring in, I sack my own Pelipper, which doesn't do much. And they keep bringing in Kingdra, which I'm very grateful for. Like, I keep. I want to make sure you guys know I'm very grateful that Kingdra keeps being brought in. As they drop a Draco there, which is probably not the play, considering this gives me the freest belly drum of my life. I am a fairy type now, my friend. So that should be game. I win. Bear Skeeta dies, Thunderous dies. Um, if Thunderous was a Sash, I mean, I have rocks up. Obviously, we don't have to care about any of this. Oh, I have the wrong HP stat. Whatever. That's fine. It's better for st when Stealth Walker up to have this HP stat, but... Yeah, I don't, I'm not changing crap. I don't care. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, you got it back. So that's good. So now I live Aqua Jet from, <laughs> from Barraskita 2. So yeah, that should be game. Uh, we've calped everything. We knew exactly what we had to do, and we just executed it as, you know... As what it was. Rocks up were very key. They wore down Kingdra. You guys saw that. Uh, obviously, they broke potential sash on Mammal Swine too. That we found out based on the Sludge Bomb damage that that Mammal Swine was uh, a Chinese Mammal Swine, aka Envy's Assault Vest. One. Not, maybe not. I mean, Envy didn't coin Assault Vest Mammal Swine. It's been used before, uh, but he definitely uses it the most out of anybody. And um, yeah, uh, Frost Moth was gone early. I went hard Diggersby because there, the likelihood that they click Ice Beam that turn was pretty low. Um, Barraskewed, I always had Caldeo in the back and still Tentacruel and even Azu. So we're just looking for that opportunity to belly drum up and we were able to do it. I'm glad that that game went the way it did. Uh, it just really, really got to show. Just I'm loving the double bunny core, man. They're, they're, that's it, bro. That's, that's it, man. That's it. All right, I'll pause. We'll be right back. All right, so we're fighting probably one of the scariest things to fight, which is Toxic Croak here. Uh, I want rocks up. Toxic Croak walls my team. Uh, Keldeo though go, puts in work. I'm hoping that Scarf Diggers B picks up the KO on Toxic Croak. That's gonna be very important. We're gonna get up rocks early, uh, and I think what I'm gonna have to do is sack something to Toxic Croak. 
and then go Diggersby and again hope they stay in. Uh, the Barrasquita is one of the scariest Pokemon we can fight. But they do get the Intimidate off on me. I'm going to Iron Head once because I don't think there's Scarf on this type of build. Exactly. I don't think they need Speed Control, which is why I didn't think they were Scarf. And I'm going to get up Stealth Rock now. It's okay if I get knocked off. Basically, what I'm trying to do here is uh, weaken one of the uh, Diggers B answers. So, um, we'll bring out Caldeo now and we'll go for the Secret Sword. Extremely good Age Slash play on my opponent's part. Very good Age Slash play on my opponent's part. I loved it. Like, they knew, they acknowledged the fact that I wouldn't hit them. Oh my god, they're making plays out here. You know what? Yep. Yeah, I'll make the same. I'll make a play too. I'll make a play as well. Uh, basically, Thunderbolt would not have knocked me out. The other Thunder, the other one is stronger, and it didn't knock me out with Thunderbolt. So I wanted damage on this thing for Diggers B. I wanted damage on this thing as well, just in general. Oh, Pelipper taking this hit is so good too. Pelipper, Pelipper getting this hit is so good, and I get the poison as well, so I can actually two it KO Pelipper, which is amazing. Give me it. They do end up going Toxic Croak. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do in front of this thing, I'll be honest. But I'm keeping Tentacruel alive because it's just so good. I'll go Caldeo. I know that technically they're supposed to beat me 1v1, but... Maybe they, they scout for Air Slash. Alright, they do. So, down goes the Pelipper there. I think Barrasquita knocks me out. I'm not entirely sure, though. Uh, Toxico comes back. I'm spec, so... Don't disrespect. They may go Age Slash here, but I'm opening up for that. Like, the rain ending is, is really opening up for my uh, my sweep at the ends. I'm just going to Secret Sword again. Please go out to Thunderous. It's really opening up for, for Diggersby to actually sweep, which is awesome. I would love if they go Thunderous now, just so I can get a hit off on them. If they go AG, I can always bring out Tentacruel. They're Leftovers Age Slash, so I don't know if they're SD or not, but I'll always be able to beat that with Diggersby, so... Alright, bring out you. I feel like Sludge Bomb KO, so I'm going for it. <laughs> Knock off probably KOs too. Um, I'm going to go for Sludge Bomb here though. For sure. We just want this thing gone. I mean, we don't, we don't care as much if this thing is gone to be honest, but... We want to hit off on Thunderous. And we still have Pelipper as well to come in directly. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so this is the hit we need. That's the hit we need on Thunderous. That body slam at the end. I'm gonna say that Pelipper is my sack. I don't want them getting up rain again. I do not want them getting up rain. So I'm a body slam here. Awesome, they gave it to me. Okay, so I can earthquake spam now. Okay, it's, it's looking great, man. It's looking great. It's looking really, really good. Ah, oh, they're hype about my Scarf Diggersby. That's so cool. But yeah, I sacked Rain because I'm not trying to give them Rain Boosted Aqua Jets. I'm not trying to give them heals or anything like that. And I think I just bring out Tentacruel now. And just throw off a knockoff. I'm not trying to give anything a heal. I'm still going for knockoff here because it should KO that guy. I think Earthquake just sweeps, like I said. So if they go Crocodile, for instance, it's better for me. They may make the Crocodile play, but I'll go Azu if they do. Okay, good. They stayed in. Perfect. And they gave me the hit. Let's go. I Sludge Bomb into Toxic Oak like a demon. Oh my god, it worked too. <laughs> Let's go. So now I can Aqua Jet as well. Oh, this is Heavy Duty Boots, so it's not strong. No freaking way this doesn't kill. No freaking way this doesn't kill. No way. I'm sorry. It's heavy to do boots, Barrasquita, so it's weak. Yep. I do think that Crocodile might have a chance to win, so I'm just gonna... Or might have a chance to live. GG. All I gotta do is click knock off here. Uh, to secure the win, because it would KO Azu, I mean, it would KO Age Slash, but it also just gets the chip I need that even if Crocodile switches out and comes back in and gets the Intimidate off, um, Diggersby wins. So that was just awesome. 
Double Bunnies put in so much work the entire live. RTSK loving these uh, rain teams. We went up almost 100 points this live, which is so cool. And uh, we went undefeated as well. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. And uh, yeah, that's it, man. Yo, the Double Bunnies, you put it in work, bro. I can't believe that Sludge Bomb worked out. It was kind of like a Hail Mary play. I didn't want to scald because I didn't want to give Toxic Oak a boost. Uh, I didn't want to knock off into King Shield, so I think Sludge Bomb just made the most sense in that regard. I'm just happy it worked out. But yeah, once again, I hope y'all enjoy it. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe. You're helping me out by leaving a like. Uh, and that's, that's about it. So I will see you guys next time. Have a great one. Goodbye, my friends.